Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative, and in this video I want to show you how to update or change the software on any CAMSYS console. The way that you update the software is a little bit different on a console than it is on the PC or Mac version, so I just want to show you that now. Uh, first thing to note is you can go get the CDC file from CAMSYS.co.uk or CAMSYSLighting.com uh, and grab the latest stable. Apparently the latest betas are always fairly stable and they usually include more bug fixes than like vulnerabilities, um, but as a kind of rule I always just stick with the latest stable. And then again, you don't want to be changing your show file at a venue, really ever, unless you're in a theater and that's where you work. The time to change the, show, uh, the software version is when you're at the shop and you have time to test all your show files beforehand. So to change your software version, you go setup, view system, then view status, then change software. It says quit console and change software, select yes. Then this BIOS kind of loads up. It says, do you want to start the installer for the ver in version that's currently on? So do you want to reinstall the software that's already there? Do you want to install a different version of Magic Q? So it's worth noting that if you select that option, you can see all the previous versions of Magic Q. You don't have to re-go download the file. It keeps all the old versions. So if you need to kick back, it should be on the console for you and then load software from USB stick. So we're gonna select that and hit enter. Now here I downloaded the file on a Mac. So on the Mac you get this older file from 1970. It's a zero kilobit file. You're supposed to just ignore that. So I select the other one, which is the bigger file with the more current date, and you hit enter. Now this happens to me literally every time. Could not load CDC file. It's the latest one. I just grabbed it from the website this morning. Still doesn't work. So I'm going to show you the workaround because this has literally never worked for me. Okay, but to get out of there, we have to shut down the console and reboot. Shut down. Okay. It's kind of weird. That's never worked. I don't know if it's just because I'm downloading files on Mac. I haven't seen anybody else literally never be able to do it that way, but I have never been able to do it that way. So I will turn on the console again, just let it boot up. Here we go, the software is loading, the blue screen with the logo on it. And here we are, so we'll hit continue show. We'll hit setup, view settings, view system, view media, oh, one sec, where is it? View settings. File manager is what you want. Now you can do this with the simple or advanced view, but you need to select the USB drive. So right here is the CDC file. Some people prefer the advanced view, which gives you more like a typical like OS file manager. And there I can select the CDC file, hit enter. It says change software. This will restart the console. You hit yes. So I don't know why that's the only way to do it when they have a change software app, but that way it works. So you hit OK, and then it's loading the newest version of the software that you put on the USB stick. And that's all there is to it. Now we have the latest version. You can see down here, 1.8.5.5. If you have any questions about this, or if you want to see a different video or how-to about Kansas Magic Q, please just post in the comment section below, and we will try to make a video as quick as we can. Awesome. Thanks so much.